It is 918 on this Saturday morning. No rain for the valley, but we will see some rain this weekend in the town of Pine Top Lakeside. This is a live look. Uh, we do have mostly sunny skies there right now, and temperatures should be in the mid to upper 80s. Tracking your weather headlines, the heat is going to crank up again this weekend with valley highs ranging from 110 to 115. Afternoon and evening mountain thunderstorms are expected today and tomorrow as the valley does stay dry. But looking ahead to next week, the monsoon is ramping up and we should have our first decent chances of seeing some rain in the valley, at least for the first time this season. Temperature wise right now, we're flirting with triple digits in Phoenix. It's 98 right now. It's 76 in Flagstaff, 81 for Sholo, it's 95 for Bullhead City and 96 for Lake Havasu City. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s across our southern deserts and in the 40s and 50s across northern Arizona. This moisture across northern Arizona will help fuel those storms with daytime heating. Not enough moisture for Metro Phoenix to get in on that monsoon action. And you can see from our satellite and radar picture, we're pretty dry across our state right now. Looking ahead to today, if you're heading to one of our valley area lakes, whether it's Lake Pleasant, Canyon, Saguaro, temperatures are going to be a few degrees cooler than the city center of Metro Phoenix. So at 10 a.m., 97 by noon, we're up to 101. And by 4 o'clock, 107. Breezes will be light, which is good news if you're taking the paddleboard or the kayak out. Around the state over the next couple of days, Flagstaff and Pine Top will see highs in the mid to upper 80s with a 30 to 40% chance of storms. Payson will be in the mid to upper 90s with a 20% chance of storms and Sedona close to triple digits with a 20% chance of storms as well. Today for Phoenix, sunny with a high of 110. Average for this time of year is 106 and the record 115 that was set back in 1989. We have excessive heat warnings in effect for Grand Canyon country below 4,500 feet. It does get hot there this time of the year and a lot of hikers get over overwhelmed, so you should wrap up those hikes pretty soon before 10 a.m. today and before 10 a.m. tomorrow. And then looking to Metro Phoenix tomorrow, excessive heat warnings issued 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday. Temperatures will range from 110 to 115. You're at greater risk for heat related illnesses if you're heading outside, so make sure you limit those outdoor activities. We've so far seen 21 days this year of temperatures at 110 or greater at Sky Harbor. On average, in a given year, we see about 19 days, so it looks like we are going to pick up a few more days this week. So far, our hottest temperature this year has been 116. Futurecast shows we'll have some cooling thunderstorms that start to develop this afternoon, right around 12 or 1 across the Flagstaff area pushing into Prescott, potentially into Sholo as well. Uh, those storms increasing in coverage between 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And then as we head into the latter part of tonight, those storms should dissipate. The main threats with these storms would be cloud to ground lightning, erratic winds, and some brief heavy downpours. Those highs for today around the valley with sunshine, we'll see 111 for Goodyear, 111 for Levine, 111 for Glendale, 110 for Chandler and Gilbert, as well as Scottsdale, 109 for Mesa and Deer Valley. We're up to 113 tomorrow. That's our hottest day of the week. And then temperatures are going to start to come down Monday. As those temperatures come down, humidity is going to increase. Uh, you can see by Thursday, Friday, we're in the low 100s. And while it's only a 20% chance of storms, again, that's been our best chance so far this season.